Okay, so let's open up and unbox my graphics card and the um, the memory. Let's open up the memory first. Okay, so one of the reasons why, like I said, one of my main criteria for getting my parts together was they all had to have some kind of RGB to match with the motherboard, the uh, my CPU cooler, and the case is also RGB with its fans. So here is the Corsair Vengeance RGB. I got two sticks of eight gigabytes in, in or so a 16 gigabyte kit, two pairs of eight gigs. Um, rated at 3200 megahertz speed. Hopefully this will work with my um, with my processor and motherboard. Threadripper has been kind of messy with uh, as far as like compatibility goes. Um, I, I know these Corsair and some G-Skill RGB um, memory are compatible I just don't know which ones um, I was thinking of getting the G skill but I couldn't find any that was as good of a price as the Corsair the Corsair is actually was cheaper than the G skill at the time of purchase which is pretty odd because normally Corsair's products are more expensive than G skills comparative products okay so th that's all there is to it I'm not going to open it up because um well because i'm not ready to put it together yet i want to keep it in its box so right here is the graphics card Let's look at the box. So here it is, the Zotac Amp Edition VR Ready GeForce GTX 1080. And here are some features. And you can see extended warranty. Okay, so let me give you guys a brief reason why I got this Zotac. Um, there were two video cards that I was thinking of getting as far as brands or company goes maybe three the gigabyte the Zotac right here and the EVGA um, graphics cards for their 1080s because one they were a little more affordable for me and then number two the gigabyte card would have matched with my motherboard because I have a gigabyte motherboard and it had a it had RGB lighting on that card too and same thing with the EVGA and same thing with this this does have RGB lighting and they're pretty good products they're good companies they have good cooling and the EVGA one was the one that I really wanted at the time before I made this purchase right here because the EVGA uh, Superclock Edition, Superclock SC2, had the new cooling system with the nine, it had like nine sensors for the cooling on that card. And on New Egg, it came bundled, or the, it had a free um, Destiny's 2 game that you could get with it. But the, the okay, so the, the GeForce, the EVGA SE2 and this Zotac were priced around the same. And I was leaning towards the EVGA from Newegg because it came with that free game bundle. The Zotac on Newegg didn't and it was more expensive. But So I got this Zotac on, on Amazon with, the, uh, with, the CP, uh, with, the, with this memory. I got this memory also from Amazon. 
So the Zotac and the uh, EVGA SC2 were both priced the same, but like I said, the EVGA card came with the free game that that's like worth sixty dollars. The Destinies 2, which I heard is a pretty good game, even though I'm not into gaming anymore. But at least I would have had that game just in case, you know, I wanted to like play for a little bit. The, re the whole reason why I wanted to get the Zotac was because of the RGB, but mostly because they have a five-year warranty versus a three or two years with most uh, video card um, manufacturers. So, and as you can see right there, it says it extended warranty, and it does. It's uh, five years versus three or two. So, like I just showed you the front of the box. Here are the sides, nothing much. Just says amp and G-force. The top, same thing. Zotac G-force GTX 1080. And then the bottom are your serial numbers. And uh... so here you have the what's included in the box in all these different languages. As you can see. So here's the box from the back. So here's the back of the box. As you can see, you have Ice Storm technology. That's one of the reasons why I got it. It's their cooling system. You have the Spectra RGB lighting. Freeze. Freeze is a software controlled where your fans won't spin unless they really your video card really needs them. And Firestorm is the software for the video card. Um, the soft, Firestorm is the software for tweaking, you know, all the settings in your video card, like overclocking and the lighting. So here is the box. You can pause that and read it for yourself. Zotac, this amp edition is also overclocked out of the box. Zotac was one of the first companies that started um, selling video cards that were overclocked out of the box um, that were overclocked over like the reference designs and they had special cooling that's why they pushed the limit there you go. so we got another box within a box and here it is it's got the Zotac branding in here. And, uh, which way does it open? This way. I like this. It's, I don't know if you guys really noticed it, but I do. Because I'm a carbon fiber guy type of freak. It has this, uh, subtle carbon fiber design on this box okay so here we go what do we get you get the Zotac feels like a CD Precautions, read this first. Uh, so you get an instruction manual and a driver CD, what it looks like. But if you guys don't know, you should always get the latest drivers from either NVIDIA or Zotac's website. So we'll put this uh, aside, get to the star of the show. And the card is well protected in this styrofoam up here on the cover and then there's styrofoam all around here to protect the card so that's really nice so right here we got the power connectors there are two six pin power connectors that you need to connect to your video card to the power supply 
So it would have been nice if instead of these colored wires, it would have been just black. And here we have another power connector. So you got two sets of six pin power connectors. Don't know why. Maybe the other one is for SLI. Anyways, let's get to the start of the show. And this is the card itself, the start of the show. Inside this bubble wrap. We're going to take it out. And this card feels pretty heavy. It feels pretty heavy. So here's the video card. Freeze Tech integration removed before first use. We will do that. But as you can see, this is the card. It's got that another thing that I like. Here we go. The carbon fiber design right here. They call it their carbon armor or something like that so this is would what would this be the front of the card or the back of the card i don't know the front or bottom because i'm going to have it installed this way like this exactly i'm not going to install it off to the side although i can with my case but i'm going to have it the, the traditional way and with the traditional way you'll see this zotac branding right here and it will be lit up in different RGB colors more carbon fiber right there on the back here with the back plate so here on the back plate you have this uh, it's called power boost I believe it's a capacitor to prevent spikes from from over voltage and power surges and this back plate feels really solid and it's a thick card probably taking up two PCI slots on the back nothing much nothing much here off to the side so let's get to the front of the card or the connections so let's turn it around this way so right here you you have your traditional dvi port and then you get one two three display ports and I think this is for each HDMI, which this is the most important one, is the one I'm using. HDMI, because I'm going to have this sucker, this baby right here, plugged down to my 4K screen. Or 4K TV. Via the computer and the card. And so that's it. That's a quick look at the video card and the memory sticks right here the memory kit although I didn't open up the memory maybe I should okay so I decided to open up the memory so you guys could see you know I might just put it into the motherboard and here they are this nice plastic protective covering so I don't know if you guys can see it they, it says vengeance right here and you got the RGB lighting which is going to be up top here and um, that's it I, I can't uh, you guys are not going to be able to see it installed until I get my computer done so that is it um, so let me give you guys a description of this video card or some brief specs and why I got this video card in the first place. Number one, Zotac as a company in 2008, they were the first company to start shipping video cards that were factory overclocked right out of the box. So they've been doing this since 2008, shipping factory overclocked cards. I'll give you guys the full specs in the description to this video but this card has a boost clock of uh, 1822 megahertz on the GPU versus uh, I think the reference or the regular GTX 1080s only have 1600 around 1600 it's got 8 gigs of 256 bit GDDR5 
it's got that ice storm cooling and other features it's a very solid card and like I said it has that five-year warranty over the regular two or three year warranty from most manufacturers on Amazon it received an average of four and a half stars out of five based off of over 200 um, reviews and in general around the media and customers Zotac cards have received very favorable reviews so that is why I got this. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching and hopefully we'll see you again for another video.